Annapurna Pictures has unveiled the very first trailer for Oscar winner and Hunt Locker director Catherine Bigelow's highly anticipated new film, Detroit. Scripted by Hurt Locker's Mark Bull, the crime drama is set against the backdrop of the Detroit riots of 1967, which were initiated by a police raid of an unlicensed bar in the city's near west side. Confrontations quickly turned violent, resulting in the death of 39 people and leaving hundreds wounded as the riots lasted for five days. The ensemble cast also includes John Boyega, Anthony Mackie, John Krasinski, and Will Poulter. It opens in theaters on August 4th. Roka, what do you think of the first trailer for Detroit? Uh, I thought this trailer was really, really powerful and very topical for what we've been experiencing in this country over the last two years. More of exposure to these ideas of cops and African American and treatment of the African American citizens in this country. So to me, I think this is this perfectly puts its finger on the pulse of what's happening in the nation now with what happened in Ferguson, what happened with the Michael Brown incident, what's happening with the Black Lives Matter movement is all is a perfect confluence of events to make this film feel very topical and you just from the opening beat of the score of the trailer mm -hmm. you get the sense that this is a very dark and dramatic film and this is not going to be some fun time in the movies mm -hmm. and which is what Catherine Bigelow has kind of like kind of started moving towards more and more with Zero Dark Thirty with The Hurt Locker and Mark Bowl coming back as a writer they work so well together you know and I even like Mark Bowl when he wrote In the Valley of Ella that's one of these unrecognized yeah, really movie. good films with Tommy Lee Jones in it. and so like this is a great combination of things and this is a very powerful incident that hasn't been highlighted or written about as powerfully as like the riots in in LA or the riots in the the draft riots that uh, that happened and of course the riots that happened uh, in um, what, what's no what's the um, the Watts riots no 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 it's Martin Scorsese's film Gangs of New York those uh, riots were like those oh, are the yeah, two yeah. biggest riots but this Detroit riot is in the top three riots of the entire uh, history of this country yeah. so mm -hmm. and it hasn't been highlighted or filmed or anything like that so to me I think this is the right time for this film to come out to explore this kind of stuff it's based on the Al Algiers Motel incident, which occurred on on 12th Street, and it was like it was uh, uh, three civilians were killed that were black. Nine other people were killed. Two white females, seven, seven black males were brutally beaten by the police, the Michigan State Police, Michigan Army National Guard. Mitt Romney's dad was governor at the time, so he's involved in this. Lyndon B. Johnson's involved in this. So this is a very intense story that they're going to tell. I don't know if it's just overnight just the Algiers Motel incident, or they're going to cover the five days of riots that happened. So mm. it'll be interesting. And I love the actors. And I love that easy, the guy who played Eazy-E yeah. is in this, and Will Poulter, who was in Revenant. Mm -hmm. Like These are very strong, powerful actors that they're bringing in to carry this stuff. The, the cast is off the hook. Yeah. And um, the, immediately standing out was John Boyega yeah, for me. Yeah, of course. I mean, I have Finn in my head, and then I see him, and he is subdued. He, is, he has this, this kind of this charm that is coming through, but like the opening of the trailer where... The cops, he's, he's in security, yeah, it looks yeah, yeah. like. And these cops are giving him shit. And he goes, come on, guys. You know, and it was so, it was so powerful for me. Then I think Mark Bowl, like you mentioned, yep. Roca, and Catherine Bigelow. Zero Dark Thirty was my favorite movie of that year. Agreed. I don't know why it wasn't nominated for Best Picture. Yeah. Um, it should have been. Was it? I it was nominated. It just didn't it was win. Nominated. It didn't yep. win. Um, Hurt Locker deserved it. Argo Locker, won. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we can get into that yeah. conversation. Um, but... Goodness that pedigree if for this movie and the timing of it, like you mentioned, yeah. Roka, is perfect. This is an Oscar front runner yeah. immediately. And I think we're, I, I can't wait to see more from this movie. I'm going to be lining up opening night. What about you, Makuga? Yeah, this is the thing with, with movies like this. And, um, you know, with Straight Out of Compton, they sort of briefly kind yeah. of mention it a little bit. Uh, we still haven't seen a really great movie about the LA riots or even the Watts riots, mm -hmm. where we talk about the riots outside of the Republican National, Con National Convention in Chicago. Mm. Um, yeah. There are certain times in this country where uh, the people have an uprising, right? And mm. you, there are ways you can do this that are very heavy handed, and there are ways you can do it by telling a true story. Yeah. And I think in this case, Catherine Bigelow is so well at depicting real world events that deserve a lot of a lot of focus on different things mm -hmm. than you know the overarching what we feel right now is like the police are bad yeah. there are bad police sure. they are not all bad right. and there are bad people out yes. there that are involved in this they are not all bad and it's a shame that the vocal minority gets a lot more press than the overwhelming majority mm -hmm. and i think the hardest part about doing a movie like this is getting the tension right of the time mm -hmm. Catherine Bigelow has knocked that out of the park 
multiple times. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How about you, Jason? You like no, this trailer? No, hundred percent. This trailer looks amazing. It looks really good. It, you're you're dead on. It is topical, mm -hmm. like crazy. I I hope it leads to a new slew of just movies like this. Uh, I mean, Get Out, I think, proved yeah. that perfectly. Yeah. I want to see more movies <clears throat> like this. Um, the one question that I would like to ask, and John, you're way more familiar with this riot than I am, um, yeah. is there a security guard, a, a yeah. famous security guard in this story? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So are they gonna, how much are they going to highlight with that oh, person? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see. Okay, cool. So, so yeah. that, that's got to be Boyega. Then. Yeah, well, no, Boyega, yeah, Boyega is the one he's playing. That's what it looks, you think initially that he's a cop, but he's actually playing the security guard. All right, that's guard. great, so because I watched walk this, this line. I, from watching the trailer, yeah. I was a little worried that I was like, oh, this security guard character seems like a character that they've added into the story right. to give us a viewpoint. Right. I'm really glad, okay, now that... That yeah. is actually in the story. Okay, I'm in like Flynn because I thought it was like a hero mm -hmm. character they invented specifically right. for Boyega. Like the Boston movie, like Patriots yeah. Day, where yeah. they invented that character that mm -hmm. Mark Wahlberg plays as an amalgam of other characters that were part of that process. Yeah, yeah. yeah and which really turned a no, lot of 100%. people from Boston off of that movie. And so, yeah. a lot of people, you know, Detroit at that time yeah. was an extremely vibrant uh, epicenter of car manufacturing, mm -hmm. music, yeah. sports. I mean, that city was. Amazing, where to this day, Detroit is almost, unfortunately, probably the worst shape as far as economy goes oh in God. this country. Yeah. So you are seeing a city that was uh, not only riding against each other, but was so much in the zeitgeist of the American people yeah. that it got enough coverage. But Detroit is sort of having a comeback a little bit <laughs> with uh, having those movie credits because Batman v Superman shot there. I'd be curious right. to know if this movie actually shot in Detroit. I hope yeah, they I'd did. I'd be shocked if it wasn't. Uh, yeah. yeah, I'm sure they did. Uh, Ashley Mova, what did you think yeah, of this trailer? Yeah, oh my God, the trailer, it drew me in right away and I think it was because of a lot of the footage. Do you guys know if the footage and the call that we heard was real footage. The footage at the beginning of the trailer is real footage. Oh the, obviously, gosh. the stuff on the ground is not, but the stuff, yeah. I mean, it was an intense, like 1,200 people were involved in this. So it's like, it's a really intense five-day riot. It, really? it, it blended pretty seamlessly for me. I know yeah. that there, there yes, was some old footage. Great. And then when you kind of go into what Catherine Bigelow was filming, I was like, Jesus, yeah. this looks mm -hmm. spot on accurate. Mm -hmm. I couldn't be more happy with with the way this looks, and I'm not surprised. It's what's Catherine the, Bigelow. What's the quote? Uh, something about this riot it was like as close as we've come to civil war since the civil war, right? In Detroit, because yeah. they they quarantined an entire section of a city mm -hmm. with military. Yeah. They didn't even do that for the LA riots. Well, that's what I mean when I said that Romney, Governor Romney, and yeah. Lyndon Johnson were involved because they sent to the National Guard and they sent all these people in to contain the situation. Yeah. You know, the 70s and 60s were the late 60s crazy and times, 70s man. were crazy. Yeah. Yeah, very, and don't think they might not come back. Right. So yeah.